We expect our court system to be fair, sending criminals to jail and keeping innocent people out. Less than a year after the Michael Morton Act went into effect, Travis County courts say they are stuck in a backlog because of all of it. And the prosecutors say it's led to more work and now they are asking Travis County to pay for extra help. Chris Sadegui has more on how much it could end up costing taxpayers and what might happen if they don't get it. When the Michael Morton Act was signed last year, it was about transparency, justice, and making sure another innocent man didn't end up in prison. But it has come with some side effects. There's redaction, there's scanning. It's just a lot more work than we thought it would be. Just four months ago, the DA's office got four new paralegals to help meet the Morton Act requirements. Judge and commissioners. But Tuesday, they came back and asked Travis County commissioners for eight more. I think all of us have been surprised, and prosecutors all over the state are scrambling to comply with it. Scrambling while the court system is crawling. Judge Julie Kasurik put it bluntly. That something has to be done. It's broken. At the end of November, there was an 800 case backlog in Travis County, cases that had to be processed to meet Morton requirements. But if you think the law was a mistake, prosecutors here say no, it's not. The bulge is growing. County Attorney David Escamilla is asking for four paralegals in his office and hopes the lawmakers who signed the act last session will help fund it this time around. And how much work it would be, people couldn't tell until we got into it. Well, now they're into it and falling deeper. From downtown Austin, Chris Sadegui, KXAN News. At today's meeting, Travis County Commissioners decided to research what other counties are doing to comply with the Morton Act, and they'll decide next week whether to fund the new positions or find another way to meet the Morton Act's requirements. We checked out what's happening in Tarrant County. That's just north in Fort Worth. They are relying on technology there with an electric document filing program to index the evidence files. Their system can actually alert the attorneys if something is missing. Travis County does all of this work manually. Well, just how bad is the case backlog in Travis County? The numbers from the District Attorney's Trial Bureau tells it all. In June, when the four paralegals began, the backlog was 263 cases. But the backlog grew worse. At the end of October, it was close to 500 cases. And at the end of last month, the DA's office had a backlog of nearly 800. This has led to a slowdown in the court system because not all of the evidence is ready to present. The backlog from the Morton Act is just one piece of this puzzle. There was also a law passed in 2011 requiring all rate kits to be tested. And at the same time the Morton Act was passed, another law required all DNA evidence to be tested in capital murder cases. Remember, all of these laws have good intentions to catch criminals and prevent wrongful convictions. According to a letter from DPS Director Stephen McCraw, it takes about three months to complete DNA testing in each murder case. In the first six months of this year, the typical DNA test took about 107 workdays to finish. Compare that to 64 workdays just two years ago. In July, I spoke with the man behind the law, State Senator Rodney Ellis. If it turns out that it is creating a backlog, what do you think the solution is for that? Well, if it's creating a backlog, you need to build more crime labs. I mean, if you gotta spend more money to make sure you're getting the right person. The Department of Public Safety, which does much of the DNA testing in the state, asked for 10 more forensic scientists in its next budget.